Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to quite possibly the most significant uh, magical moon message to date. Yes, you can say that about literally every magical moon message that's new. Because this is the nature of reality. The present moment is always the most significant moment. Uh, there's no such thing as the future. And there's no such thing as the past. These are but just uh, how we perceive time. But it's really just one present moment. I need to say that because uh, the truth exists outside of our perception in the sense that given our third dimensional perspective of how most of us, and I say most of us because some of you have moon Neptune, sun Neptune, moon Uranus, sun Uranus, Pluto contacts that actually enable your physical vessel to sense and perceive beyond the third dimension. I mean, if you're a sun in Pisces, that's literally what it means to be a sun in Pisces. But other than that, given most of our third dimensional perspective of time, space, you know, width, depth, and whatnot, the interfacing of extra dimensional and metaphysical phenomena that is beyond that, which once again is legitimately experienced through Pisces, and everyone has Pisces in their chart. This relationship between the extra dimensional and metaphysical versus what we realistically perceive is now opening up in ways that will fundamentally moving forward change transcendentally the nature with which you integrate holistically your behavior and physical senses that perceive this reality through the analysis of how you take all the complex factors your subconscious picks up in order to project this through your brain consciously for you to now reason, analyze, and make decisions. You analyze in Virgo and then you make decisions in Cap, but before you do any of that, you sense in Taurus. So this integration is going to take into a part the unseen. And your relationship with this is fundamentally changing how you integrate everything that you used to know to be real. Because moving forward, you're going to change everything that you thought you knew about everything that you thought you knew before you realize you never really knew because enlightenment is accepted. You don't know shit. And so with that in mind, it was a tongue twister. This new moon in Virgo is initiating you into a sense of lifestyle mastery where now relative to the new moon in Pisces and the Aries transits that we had, you spent six months of individualization relative to Saturn and Aquarius and Jupiter and Aquarius, closing up a 30 and 12 year cycle of coming into an evolution of literally 12 aspects of your entire being and consciousness, integrating at the collective Aquarian energy of cosmic energy to give you the final extraordinary sense of knowledge of how to take supernatural who you are. You've individualized the supernatural quality of your entire being over six months. You're still alive. And I need to put this in context because we're in the apocalypse. So, so many people did not make it. I can say something like this, but then when you remember you're in literal Hunger Games and like there are people dropping left and right, like there are people who are not making it through, you really need to honor the fact that you're here pushing forward because not only have you now individualized and integrated the individual facet of you that's supernatural activating and manifesting abilities you have now for the first time ever integrated intertwined and they're now aligning this into a new sense of your behavior that moving forward will now bridge the relationship to the unseen. Now that you are bringing into conscious reality through a change of your real behavior, the integration of the supernatural quality of your own individuality, this is huge. Now over the next six months, you're on a path to mastery that will lead you to ascension through Sagittarius and on top of the mountain in Capricorn. The whole purpose of you activating and awakening supernatural abilities 
is so that with the, it's, it's believe it or not, because the Chronicle generation is Pluto Sag. So if you watch the movie Chronicle, it's about some kids who awaken superpowers and basically use them irresponsibly. That's all a Pluto Sag. They're going to have the whole. That's why they're next to Pluto Capricorn. Their lesson is how do we come into integrity using these literal world changing mutable Sag abilities where now they're showing Pluto Sag is the first generation to show to the world superpowers. Let's go. And I can really debate about this. Like, this is no cap. This has all been leading up to this period. So personally, it's not really just to like use them for personal fulfillment. That's the aspect of it. The purpose of the supernatural abilities is to connect your physical vessel with extra dimensional, multi-dimensional facets of yourself. Because you're opening up your clairs, this is what's gonna allow you to directly communicate with your higher self, to deal and work with the astral parts of you so that you could be the anchor here instead of unconsciously, subconsciously being guided Humanity as a collective is literally bridging the existence of celestials and divine beings to now mainstream integrate into our culture where this is the first time ever that we have computers and Internet to mainstream this. We couldn't do this before. It's not like they never existed before. It's that now we can integrate it into our our lifestyle so much more amazing. It's the new generation that will make more sense of this. But now that we're bridging this, Jupiter coming back into Pisces on Neptune next year is going to give you profound insight into phenomena that for so long you thought was nothing but was everything at the same time. Coming into next year, some of y'all are going to realize now that your behavior has changed and you're so much more in tapped and in tune with your abilities than before that, you know, that weird sound or that weird experience you always had wasn't a weird experience. It was your dead grandma communicating to you the whole time giving you signs and synchronicities. That's an extreme example, but we're here. We're finally in a position where we're gonna make literally all the sense in the world. And that's because we're closing out the Jupiter cycle. That's because we're closing out the Saturn cycle in Aquarius. That's because this new moon in Virgo is getting ready to step you onto the path of mastery. And now that you are ready to step onto this new moon cycle, you're going to see a systematic change of your behavior. Everything up until this point was to begin the integration process of changing your behavior to set up for this new moon point that will legitimately activate the cycle. So once the moon is in Sagittarius, we will have activated the new moon cycle until we get to the eclipse point to where now you're going to ascend your understanding of this new behavior because you're coming into a new belief that has to adjust what you think about it coming into the full moon. And I, I hope that makes sense. Basically, you're about to step into most the most change in such a short period amount of time than you ever have because of the six months prior that you did the work. So you really want to celebrate here. This new moon is going to trine Pluto retrograde. It's trining Uranus retrograde in Taurus. If that means anything to you, you should be jumping right now because now the most unconventionally Uranus aspect or the most unconventional causal realm aspect because the causal realm is the realm in between the mind and the astral realm of imagination to where thoughts come from. The reason why we could telepathically communicate is through a realm, the causal realm, that we don't really know that much because science hasn't truly explored but we're stepping into there. All the people with Uranus and Aquarius are going to bring such scientific wisdom and knowledge to this purely channeled and also practically experienced through clinical trials and actual exercises. But outside of that, this grounded quality of natural energy in Taurus is making a direct trine to this change. I want you to see the Uranus and Taurus as the actual plug. It's the source natural energy. The square to Saturn, if that's the plug, is the electricity. So Saturn is like the electricity that runs down the wall. And then Uranus is the plug, the electricity that goes in through this change of experience. So this is literally producing Taurus, a supernatural Uranus change, Virgo, 
in your experience, mutable sign, new moon. And this is going to incorporate further integration of your natural abilities. So not abilities that you are gifted by some space wizard, abilities you are born with that you breathe naturally is breathing. And this is going to start and spark the official real change. What have I really done to facilitate this? I've restarted my workouts, I've done day one. I've, I'm gonna restart the 33 day ritual. I decided to sync with the actual lunar stage of the moon. I feel amazing, but not as amazing as I'll feel in six months after I continue forth this consistency. And so be very mindful of everything you begin. Just know that with that Uranus trine, what you're stepping into is unconventional, unlike anything that's ever been seen before, especially is mapped into the human physiology or just physiology and physical nature in general. And so this is going to start to manifest unconventional, literal, supernatural experiences to give you an idea of how to exert and express your abilities. I literally just had a supernatural experience, especially with the tarot which now is happening so common, it's like it's part of my new behavior to where I'm thinking of a card I wanna pull and out of 78 cards, I pull it, which is a coincidence until you do it five times in a row. Then it's magical ability. Other than that, embrace it because the abilities that are sparking are the bridge of what you're going to use to serve collectively, to be developed by others socially, and most importantly, to bridge your being with higher aspects of yourself. This is where shit gets super real. Just know that with the opposition this is making to Neptune, this new moon is transcendently applying this sense of mastery to the relationships you have with others, to where you're more realistically interfacing with metaphysical phenomena that your physical senses cannot and will not process and register but your soul will feel and sense and you'll still interface with your natural five senses so keep that in mind you're crazy but you're not schizophrenic when i say you're crazy i'm saying that like a genius name one G, name one genius that isn't crazy i'm saying that that's the best part about you okay so i'm flipping that but you're not crazy when i mean that the stuff you're experiencing is not just in your head it's in your head and that your brain is processing what you're experiencing, but it's not just in your head. Other people are going through it too. Many people process and cope and call it different stuff. If you knew how many people were going through what you're going through, it would normalize a lot, but it, it's being made to feel like you're just the little weirdo going through your experience, but you're not. Everything that you're experiencing is proof of your genius and the advancement of consciousness which is gonna look like struggle because when you're creating a new path you have to clear the weeds you have to clear the thistles it's not just the path that was cleared for you just like many of these paranormal experiences y'all are having which are gonna be uncomfortable they're gonna be competitive you're not crazy a lot of y'all are dealing with spiritual attack but you're not a victim you're clapping back and this metaphysical experience around you bridging this physical experience is about to get so much more real for those of you who are psychically adept, trust what you pick up and your feelings about others, whether they are close or not. You're psychic. You're picking it up exactly. Just don't do what these idiots do and keep it to yourself. If you feel someone, something, confront it. Don't be afraid that they'll gaslight you. If that's what they do, then, you know, draw your boundaries. Don't let them do it again. But we're getting ready to manifest all this magic socially in Libra. So... Over the next two weeks, you're going to experience the most grounded, real, magical, paranormal phenomena that will integrate into your real experience the existence of the divine, the metaphysical, and the unseen. Some of you are Sagittarius, so you're going to see them. Some of you got Pisces, so I'm not talking to every one of you, but for most of you, welcome to the supernatural. It's been a long time coming, and if you're prepared to walk this path of mastery, no, it's not going to be easy. Know that it's going to be very challenging and the same people who applaud you will turn on you because it'll reveal people's true characters. And some people are well-meaning, but ultimately they're pliable and they're weak and they're influenced by social acceptance from others. Whereas you're an individual and we're headed into the revolution of the individual where those who stand on their own too and maintain their own value will win everything they're meant to and more. Don't let anybody undermine this path you're on. It doesn't have to make sense to others ever. 
And the same people who criticize what you do non-constructively can also suck your dick. Always remember that. You stay blessed as always. God